this is Andrea and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, hello. First of all, I feel like a lot of people are very much into self-care, which I love. I think we're finding out more ways to make sure that we do take care of our mental health and we take care of our bodies, our spirits, and just our minds and all of that good stuff. So without further ado, here are six self-love habits that changed my life. The first one is taking rest days when I feel off or exhausted. For me, rest days and time off are a huge part of taking care of myself and it sometimes requires me to be just very, very intentional about how I choose to carve out my time for myself. And I feel like it's really, really a major key to maintaining a high level of self-love. I think a lot of us work so much and just have so much on our plates that sometimes we're kind of just going and going and we don't remember that we do need rest. Of course, there is a balance of making sure that you do what you need to do and you get, you know, a good amount of work done or whatever is necessary for your particular lifestyle. But again, it's like, take your rest days, take your time off. Most of these jobs don't really care about your mental health. Make sure that you prioritize yourself. Number two, find out what your boundaries are and set them. Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. They are a crucial part of self-care and they honestly just enhance your self-love. I feel like without boundaries, it's extremely hard for you to feel safe, seen and respected, especially within your personal relationships. So setting boundaries and just being clear about your expectations, it allows you to really put yourself first. I'm reading a book currently about boundaries and just setting up healthy expectations for yourself and for the people in your life, especially the people that are closest to you. That leads me to number three. Be honest about what you need. Think about what makes you happy. Without these clarifications and without figuring out what you actually need, you will just feel unfulfilled and drained. It's important to check in with ourselves when we feel like our needs are changing and that we need to update them. Next up, number four, forgive yourself. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you are not the mistakes you've made. And forgiving yourself allows you to really indulge in the type of self-love that gives you courage, perspective, and more chances. Mistakes are honestly just lessons that we have to learn. And so the only thing that really matters is how you choose to recover. So please forgive yourself. And if you're feeling like you can't do that right now, that's okay. Just work on it. Number five, positive affirmations. In my handy dandy notebook, I really like to write down affirmations as well as my to-do lists and just things that are on my mind. But I think positive affirmations are so helpful. Speaking to yourself like you would speak to a friend is something that I often think about because sometimes I can be really hard on myself and I ask myself, wait a second, would I talk to my friend this way? Usually the answer is no. So then I backtrack and I talk to myself like a friend. And it doesn't have to be this long drawn out sentence. It could be two words, three words, anything that gives you a little more of a push and allows you to just be present and remind yourself that you're okay and that you are where you need to be. You are being thoughtful, self-aware, and you're gonna get through whatever you're feeling. Feelings are temporary. If you say something about yourself long enough, you'll start to believe it. So make sure that it's positive. Last but not least, we have number six, taking a walk. It's so nice to be amongst nature, plants, the sky, and also just seeing random people living their lives is always really interesting to me. And it makes me feel like things that feel big aren't necessarily really that big. <laughs> people are walking around with their different perspectives and their different situations in their life. And it just makes things feel so much more minuscule. And that's a good thing because I think we just become even more present and thankful and grateful when we have that feeling, that self-awareness. Whatever your self-love habits are, I hope that they're helpful for you and I hope that you've been seeing the changes, the positive changes, and I hope you're doing well.